Hello, political enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a gripping chapter from Zimbabwe's political arena, the recall of members of parliament. In Zimbabwe, political tides are as dynamic as they come, and understanding these shifts is crucial for anyone interested in the intricacies of global politics. So let's unpack this together. Imagine being elected to serve your community, your voice in the parliament echoing the hopes of thousands. Now, imagine that suddenly, you're no longer a member. That's the reality for several MPs in Zimbabwe who found themselves ousted from their positions. But why? And who holds the power to recall an MP? The recall phenomenon is not just a political maneuver. It's a reflection of deeper tensions within parties. In Zimbabwe, if a party feels that an MP has violated the party's terms or has become misaligned with its ideals, the party can initiate a recall. This often stems from internal conflicts or shifts in party leadership and direction. But here's where it gets interesting. The legality and fairness of these recalls have been hotly debated. Critics argue that this undermines democratic processes and concentrates power within the top tiers of party leadership, potentially stiffening dissent and alternative viewpoints within the party itself. In recent times, the International Parliamentary Union, or IPU, has stepped into the fray, questioning the transparency and fairness of these recalls. Their involvement highlights a significant concern. Are these recalls a legitimate exercise of party discipline, or are they a tool for political manipulation? For the MPs affected, the impact is profound. Not only do they lose their parliamentary roles, but their ability to represent and advocate for their constituents is abruptly halted. This raises pressing questions about the rights of elected officials and the voters who put their trust in them. As we look ahead, the ongoing debates and legal battles over MP recalls in Zimbabwe will test the resilience of the country's democratic institutions. Will there be a move towards more transparent and fair processes? Or will political expediency continue to dominate? For all of us watching, this isn't just about Zimbabwe. It's a vital case study in the balance of power, the role of political parties, and the rights of elected representatives. It's a narrative unfolding right before our eyes, and one that will undoubtedly shape the political landscape of Zimbabwe for years to come. Thank you for joining me in this exploration of Zimbabwe's MP recall drama. Stay tuned and engaged as we continue to delve into more political insights from around the world.